Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bust Loose. And the reason why I restarted this game and show you the Konami symbol is just to let you guys know that this game has been restarted. And now we have to do this crazy thing. We're going to have to play this game on cho- No, wait. Challenge mode. That's much better. And challenge mode. This mode will probably kill you in your brain. Actually, this mode is not too bad, but it is definitely the hardest mode in the game for a reason. And one thing I will let you guys know of is that this is going to be saved, so don't care about it. Okay, you, I mean, once you beat the game, you don't really have to read that again, thank god. Alright, so things to know about challenge mode. Buster only has one fucking heart, so if he takes a hit, he is quite bummed. Not a good thing to know, but as long as you're quick through these levels, the less chance, the less time you're on these levels is, means the less time that you're getting yourself killed. But you know, I would definitely suggest to get some crystal carrots along the way. That's the most important tip. Always aim for the crystal carrots. But yeah, there's not too many changes for the levels. I mean, the only thing that you really have to worry about is having, like, very few hits on your hands. I mean... Oh, crap, I really want that. But whatever. But yeah, very few hits on your hands. God, I, I do not want to do any air jumping. It seems like kill your balls. Ah, shit. That was a bad idea. But yeah, this level should not give you any problems. I mean, as long as you're just kind of getting through here in one piece and know what's where, what's where, like, in terms of enemies and, like, freaking carrots, like this crystal carrot down here, you'll be quite fine and dandy. The rest of the level, but to note that the bosses in, many bosses in this game are actually got a freaking boost of uh, intelligence and speed and everything, so you gotta be careful of that. Here's a nice example of such things. Look at the, look at how Arnold Pitbull reacts to me immediately. And he is like stupidly fast, so just like get your drop kicks in. What the fuck? You like cancel my drop kick, you little ass. And he's still running around the room. So yeah, just be really careful here and while I'm not going to explain too much in this game, I will explain a one certain spot that where you can get a uh, extra life here, because you'll probably need it. You want to go all the way up here, on this wall, and there's your extra life. Just keep that in mind, because you'll definitely be needing it. Definitely. And then we have this section, which I suggest doing a nice big jump, killing all those enemies with one b bounding leap. This is definitely the same, so don't care to read it. And now, as you can see, Dizzy Devil is about as fast as Buster Bunny. Holy shit. That is not good. And he will be very quick to use his attack. I mean, and this is a good place to stand, I would say. It's not the best place, but it's a, ver it's a very optimal place. God, I love how Dizzy Devil like, gets knocked 500 feet in the air when he knocks knock him. Very dangerous enemy he is now. Shit. And look how far he fucking jumps, he's like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, you have to worry about that, like, feeding him in midair and killing his momentum somehow, because apparently if food is like a freaking dead weight here, and crap. Damn you. Dizzy Devil, why must you be so evil? This is also a good place to stand, because look what you can do. If Dizzy Devil happens to land right here, he can go in this doorway and put a food in his mouth right there. And maybe another piece of food. So this is probably the optimum place to stand. Because Dizzy Devil will probably make so many holes up there. And you can also feed him very easily here, because you can expect him to jump there. So yeah, this is definitely the best place to stand. The door, the blue doorway with the blue light above this above it is also not a bad place. And we're done with this fight, thank god. So I was almost coming close to that or coming that close to dying. Alright, good job, Dizzy Devil. Way to be a nice Dizzy fool. Dizzy go sleep. Me skip conversation because it's already been done. Alright, now we get to the mini games. The awesome, wonderful mini games. Guess what's the what's the note about these mini games, guys? They're much harder, at least the ones that have some difficulty or something that can be changed. If you get the uh mystery weight challenge or the plucky duck go go bingo, you'll pretty much have a get a break there, because those are pretty easy to win extra lives in, because it's kind of luck based. Hamptons, though, oh boy, this one looks like it's going to be quite a chore. So yeah, you get 99 
seconds still, but as you can see, the layout of this area is very, very, very hard to get some exercise in, so you're gonna have to be really quick here. And I definitely mean really quick. Holy shit, hurry up. Game. Come on. Come on, game. So you're gonna have to, like, really react here. I mean, there's not much you can do. Oh, crap. Looks like I'm probably gonna have to get one X. Very close, Hampton could have died there. God damn it, I really want to get this over here. Damn it. Shit. What the hell am I supposed to do here, game? Hmm. This ain't good. At least I'm gonna get another apple. But I'm kinda stumped, honestly. I mean. Wait. Wait. No, that's not working. Shit. I'm done. I'm done. I think Hampton's done. No, I just can't do anything, Trip. Ah, fuck. Well, at least I got two apples, but... As you can see, that puzzle was very, very complicated now. So, that's the scary part about that minigame. And then this is uh, definitely the same, so we're just gonna skip it. Blah, 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 so mad. Blah. Okay, now, one thing I would like to teach you about this level, since I didn't bar or since I didn't know about to begin with, if you slide these barrels, you can use them as projectile weapons to kill everything in front of you, almost. Which is a very nice thing to do, because the enemies here can be quite annoying. And you definitely want to watch out for Mr. Coyote Man, again. And what, you notice the difference here? That rope is going a lot fucking faster than before. You want to be careful here. Try to do short hops. These are the best thing. This is probably the best advice I can give you here. You can also do the freaking drop kick if short hops is not working for you or you're having trouble with that. But short hops is probably the best route to take on in that, in my opinion, because that way you have lots more control. And I died from a fucking vulture. Thanks a lot, you little ass. So as you can see, the, this level is going to definitely be a, quite a killer for most players, because the the fact that this level is like the hardest level in the game, in my opinion, and the fact that the you only have one hit for about half of the level, yeah, like plenty of ways to die now, shit. And of course, the, don't get me wrong about the section with, with, with all the pain and misery, the train room section where you have the all scrolling the whole way through. I'm just looking forward to that. But enough about that, let's try to get through this part without dying. God forbid, thank you for having a little gap there, game. Look at once we get past that part, we have this nice mocking scene. Hey, carrots! I love how they offer you a carrot on challenge mode, but the fact that you won't even be eating it. It's just, just keep walking when you see that barrel. And then use the invincibility of that guy to drop your dropkick invincibility of that guy to dodge out of the barrel, and then we have this cutscene, which would be for that little dialogue scene we can skip. And now we have this wonderful section, which I'm going to hate. Oh, I love train rides. I love exactly when they have frickin' auto- or frickin' auto-scrolling of the go behind me all the way through. And here's one thing to know. If you get caught in these nets, please dash. That will actually keep you alive much longer, because you can rip through the net that way. I didn't really show that my first time through, because I was too busy trying to dodge this. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this guy, thanks for the tomato star. And then we have the, this lovely section where we have the dash. And I suggest not trying to jump too much here, unless you need to. Otherwise, you're going to have really bad luck. Crap. Oh god, and I... Wow, that was quite a way to die. Yeah, don't want to, you want to make sure to get that gold to Pharaoh's got the statue. If you don't get that, you're quite screwed in that, that section. One of the few that you ever get in this game, I think. I don't know, but nevertheless, as you can see, the level's not too different. It's just the fact that you're so old. Buster is like playing through Contra now. Shit. Buster. No, don't get killed, Buster. Oh god, don't go off screen either, Buster. Screen either that's like going out of bounds in such a horrible way that kills you. You know, that's kind of that's kind of weird. It's like going out of bounds in this game equals death. It's like, well, I don't think you lose, you lose the game if you go out of bounds in football. Hold the same football, bitch. And I hope football is 
not gonna be a problem. Damn it. Oh, I hate that fucking part now. It's barely I'm screwing up miserably. Okay, so try not to jump too early or you kind of get killed in such a way. No, get the hell off me! Buster is not a not an object for your amusement, Link. God, Link is just very relentless there. Damn. Okay, kill you and the tomato. Wow, that's new. Dash! God forbid. Man, this is evil. I think I'm trying to outrun the screen. Not a good idea. There we go. Invincibility. Get have be a friend of freaking Montana Max 
Jackson is yelling at, so...